Hey family, greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Sis D here coming to drop y'all a banger. Y'all, uh, so I'm out running errands and getting a couple of things done this morning. And there was something that kind of popped in my mind as I was slightly low-key like busting about something. And this is what came to me. Be thankful with a grateful heart. You okay? Be thankful with a grateful heart. And as a reference, y'all, Psalms 107, 1, Psalms, the 107th chapter, verse 1, tells us to be thankful with a grateful heart. And I'm going to drop it in the description so y'all can go read it because I'm paraphrasing, okay? But basically, we are spiritual warriors, i.e. soldiers. We are supposed to learn to command these tools or y'all sorry armaments i have paper in my hand or armaments and gratitude and a thankful heart is part of that artillery bag that spiritual artillery bag just so as is love y'all and i'm outside so there's a little bit of noise but so as is love thankfulness Gratitude, positivity, light, love, peace. All of these are like weapons in your artillery bag as a spiritual warrior or a spiritual soldier. So it's not like if, okay, I'm going to use a military analogy, right? So when um, you just enlist and you're going through boot camp do they give you a live weapon or do you get a weapon with blanks you get a weapon with blanks because they don't know what kind of skills you have they don't know if you've been in the backwoods firing since you were eight or ten or twelve they don't know that so you have to be able to test those skills out you have to sometimes develop the skills on that weaponry weaponry so you guys this is the same thing i'm talking about being spiritual soldiers being spiritual warriors we have tools in our armament bag our spiritual armament bag to help us fight these day-to-day -day battles so it might sound far out there it might sound kind of foreign like what is this d talking about spiritual warriors spiritual soldiers in this spiritual armament bag in the holy scriptures it tells us put on the whole armor of yah the whole armor the helmet the breastplate the breastplate the shoes so the holy scriptures tells us and reminds us we're out here we're at war we're battling but the most high hasn't left us defensive defensive less we have this spiritual armament bag but we got to learn how to use those weapons well and i'm lining them up for you i'm giving y'all parts and pieces of your spiritual weaponry bag and if y'all stick and hang with me i'm gonna try to make sure I'm going to try to make sure not only, sorry y'all, I got all kinds of stuff going on. The birds flying over, sitting, trying to perch in a tree. I got the plane flying over my heavens, I tell you. So if y'all just stick and hang with me, if y'all go with me, I'm going to try to prepare you as best I can to be a top, top level spiritual warrior, to be a top, top elite style spiritual warrior with artillery with a spiritual artillery bag full of weapons that's how much i do y'all hang with me y'all stick with me all right so i just wanted to throw that out there again like i said i told y'all love is a very powerful weapon then i'm giving you guys thankfulness and gratitude i've given you we i talked about positivity vibing up on your on your positive tips when people are coming at you negative and low vibration y'all take them high vibe up
you begin to change the atmosphere. If somebody is complaining and griping and just fussing for no no for no reason, take them take them higher. You vibe higher. Switch the conversation. Then you begin to teach them how to vibe up. Because some want to know, they just don't know what they're they're just it's ignorance. They just don't know how to do it. And then you have others that are just low vibrational creatures and they just want to stay low they want to just be negative they just want to backbite and gossip and slander and and some sometimes those are those are creatures you might not be able to do anything with some beings just want to stay low so if it's not if it's not that and the person you try to help them grow you try to help them go higher vibe up and they just don't want to do it then that might be a person you might need to cut off or back up from. And I've said that before in one of my other videos. So I hope that some, a part of this message, even in the loudness, y'all, I'm so sorry, even in the loudness, hopefully some of this resonates with y'all and it makes sense. It is kind of overcast to where I am and I'm asking the most high that the sun will come out so it can warm up because it's kind of chilly here today um but yeah but i'm gonna give thanks even for the coolness because i like cool actually anyway y'all i just wanted to drop that on y'all i hope that um that this resides or resonates well with you guys and you guys can begin to pick up the things that i'm saying and begin to run with them spiritually speaking okay so um to my new subscribers i see you thank you all so much i appreciate each and every one of you um to those of you who are commenting thank you i appreciate y'all so much the comments oh the comments bring joy to my heart honestly um because you guys are so with it you guys a lot of you are so on point you guys understand overstand understand you guys got all the stands okay <laughs> y'all got them all many of you are so on point and you guys are already doing the work and so i say kudos y'all keep digging deeper keep tapping in stay connected to the true vine okay so with that i think i'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day because i have a couple of tasks i definitely need to tackle I hope and pray to the most high that y'all's day is great. Um, that you guys are seeing things manifest a little bit faster for you guys. Um, and we'll talk about that because somebody mentioned manifestation formula to me. Um, I'm going to get into that too. I'm, I'm still, you know, praying about it, meditating about it because I want to present that well so that you guys can flow and understand um, exactly what I'm saying. So I definitely want to present that well, okay? But I am going to get to it. Uh, with that being said, I appreciate y'all. I think I said that already. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get going on with my day. Y'all have a great one. If you guys did something incredible or super, super fun, super exciting, something creative or something that is exhilarating for y'all, drop it in the com uh, drop it in the comments so the community can see what y'all are doing. For example, I love being by the water. So when I have the opportunity to go down by the beach or sit by a moving body of water that is peaceful for me um i like it i enjoyed it um it calms my spirit so that's fun to me i have been asking m m the small circle around me hey y'all let's go indoor skydiving right sis d at heart is kind of an adrenaline junkie so i scuba dive i've been scuba diving for a very long time i snorkel um i international travel and i think i told y'all that as well so i am at heart like an adrenaline junkie so i like to do fun things i am the big chick that's trying to go zip line it <laughs> i just gotta ask her okay wait a minute wait wait what's your weight load max on this zip line because i trust the most high but i'm not gonna test and tempt him neither so uh yeah i'm gonna need the zip line to be able to hold me okay i love this earth suit i'm okay with this earth suit because it serves me well yeah 
so I love it it is very useful for me but I still want to be here to fulfill all of my assignment I don't want to go meet the Messiah or the most high early because I done jumped on the zip line y'all and it can't hold and it's a pap out and I just fall to the jungle floor somewhere yes so that being said y'all drop in the comments if you guys did something great exciting fun exhilarating drop it in the comments drop it in the comments so the community knows what you guys are doing okay with that being said love y'all appreciate y'all Vibe up, y'all. Vibe up. This is the animal.